The Dropouts podcast has been one that's been through a lot of changes, and I feel like any day now they're about to hit a million subscribers because they've had this resurgence content-wise with the addition of Tara Yummy being a co-host alongside Zach Justice and Jared Bailey. Tara has absolutely taken off this year, gaining what feels to be hundreds of thousands of followers a day. She's been making YouTube videos for years now, but this year she's grown so much and is now everywhere. Back in December, Tara seemed to join Dropouts as a regular co-host and people have been obsessed with her. Now, the reason why we're talking about all this is because this week they decided to have Indiana back on the podcast. She used to date Zach and was also a co-host. They eventually broke up and Indiana slowly stopped being in the episodes. And as fans started to notice and wonder what happened, they ended up doing a whole podcast episode explaining what happened between them all. Indiana opened up about an extremely toxic past relationship of hers and how she ended up being quite toxic to Zach. They ended their relationship and she stopped co-hosting the podcast. But this week, a reunion happened and Tara was present for the whole thing. And fans, well, they were not too happy about this episode, at least at first. It went up on Patreon and clips started to leak onto TikTok and thus began the attacks. People were judging Indiana, feeling like she was being mean, making mean comments towards Tara. Some felt like Tara wasn't even into the episode and that the whole thing was just awkward. Zach saw some of the comments that were going around and commented on one TikTok and said, please be graceful to Indiana. She came on and was so respectful to everyone. We all had a great time. Tara was sick. Indiana is an amazing person. But the clips kept getting posted and the comments were ongoing. People kept posting this one where at one point Indiana had joked about, why are you here to Tara and didn't love that. Despite the fact that in the full clip, Indiana says that she really liked Tara joining the podcast. I don't know how to express that, yeah. but yeah, because we're we're more of an era of like a yummy mindset. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I called Zach about whenever you started to come onto the podcast. I don't even know. It's all a blur. It, <laughs> she she just keeps coming back each week. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> I, black Why? Out, I black out every time. Why are you here? <laughs> but I when I started to see you on the podcast, like a lot of people. It was like mixed reviews. It was like 50% like, oh my God, she's so much better than Indiana or oh my gosh, you're so much like better than Tara. Da, 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 da. Never what, like anytime I see those comments, I'm constantly like, we're not doing this. We're not gonna do that. I think Tara's awesome. I don't know her, but like, I love your videos. I love Thank your content. You. I think like you're so cool. And anytime I saw your clips on, on Dropouts, I called Zach and I was like, I want to be your friend. She seems really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I told you that. Really cool. Yeah, yeah, he told me that. And to be honest, I hadn't even, I didn't know you were on the podcast because it had been so long. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't been. know who I was replacing. Or like, you also I like, know, I didn't know that was a thing until quite recently, you're, actually. You're our diversity hire. Oh, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. otherwise it was just three white males. Yeah, now I'm, you know, Middle a Eastern. White passing person. People just had a ton of things to say about the clips that were going around, commenting under these TikToks saying, she's so backhanded, I literally can't. Trust me, we all like Tara more than. Indiana feels like a pick me, yikes. This is the most awkward podcast I've seen them do. I think within the first 10 minutes, everyone knew this was a mistake. Feels like she kept bringing the topic back to the fact that she used to be there, OMG, and Tara replaced her, OMG. Tara is not having it with Indiana there. This was such an awkward episode. I haven't seen anyone say Indiana's better than Tara though. Why is she being low-key mean to Tara? What the? Indiana ended up seeing all the negative comments that had been going around and decided to address them on TikTok Live as she was very unhappy with what was being said. I just don't get it. Like, you ridicule Zach, you ridicule me for a year and a half. You treat us like absolute Then we get on to be like, guys, we're friends. Everything's okay. And then it's a problem all over again. Like... I don't, I don't understand, like, what is going to, like, make you guys understand that, like, Zach and I are friends. We have been friends. I did what you guys asked. Like, I did what, what they wanted. Like, I went on the podcast. I cleared things up. He cleared things up. And then you want to just me all online all over again. Like, we did what we... We tried to show you that everything was fine and all you wanted to do is just like destroy the people on the podcast. It was either Tara's being a bitch, Indiana's being a bitch, Zach's like and hates everyone, da da da. Like Jared's not taking control. Like it was, you hated somebody in that podcast. So cool. 
fucked up. She later ended up saying that she was going to be taking a break from the internet because everything that was being said was a lot. She didn't like all the backlash that was coming at her and everyone else and just needed to take some time away. And so I'm gonna take a break from the internet for a while because I can't seem to ever get it right. And anytime I do, I'm ridiculed, so. Like just enjoy tearing people down because that's all you do. That's all you do, so cool. Thanks. So done with this bullshit. It's like actually insane. It's driving me crazy. This, like, I don't understand how you can like get online and just like constantly ridicule people. Like, I don't think you understand what happens behind the camera. And like, yeah, it's like stupid to come on live and like be like crying, but like you guys want ridicule me on live you guys you guys want to absolutely destroy me online so sure i'll come on and show you what i'm doing it's messed up like on that podcast for two years the crazy part was all of this was going down prior to the full episode coming out for the public like this was just the reaction based on people who have seen clips on tiktok or people that watch the episode on patreon so when the full episode came out, the public comments were kind of different from the ones that were on TikTok. I think a lot of people were a lot more accepting of it, seeing the full thing, but there were still comments of people going at Indiana or feeling like the podcast was awkward or feeling like Tara just wasn't into it this time. But something else that was noted in the full episode once it was finally out was that there was something important addressed in the episode. And it is something that people have been talking about for quite some time, ever since discovering that Zach and Indiana had dated at one point. And something to note is that Zach is 28 and Indiana is 21. And when they went public about their relationship, people started to comment on their age difference given that Indiana was younger and at the time couldn't even drink alcohol. Rumors swirled that Zach had groomed her and some still say that to this day, but in this episode, Indiana wanted to address that and put an end to these claims and detailed even more about their friendship prior to them dating. Perhaps because, and I'm going to bring this up right now, Zach and I met when I was 14 years old and that's going to get cleft. <laughs> that feels no, so weird. He worked for... I guess pretty much my mom at the time. He edited my YouTube videos and in exchange had a room in my apartment, in, in my, my mom's apartment. It was my mom's apartment. Literally, I can't even express to you how much nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I sure hope not. You're and, 14 years old. But I know, old. I'm just try, I'm trying to like- Okay, I, didn't, it, like, I thought you were like backtracking like, <laughs> no, I was just making like, sure. No, because it, there have been so many things on comments, reddits, like TikTok videos, everything, like saying that I'm this victim, saying that Zach groomed me, like all of these things. And I would like to set the fucking record straight, number one. I am not a victim and I'm staring down the barrel of the camera when I say this. This one, stare down that one. I am not a victim and every time you guys are consistently drafting these narratives of this bullshit that happened when I was 14, you are constantly devaluing real victims and real people that have been in those situations. I have been in those situations with some horrible people and Zach is not one of them. I have been in abusive relationships. I have been in situations with older men who are taking advantage of younger women in California. And that didn't fucking happen. It never happened. Zach was- So that's what Indiana had to say about that subject that has been going around for quite some time. And who knows if she will end up kind of reading the comments under the uploaded version of the podcast on YouTube, but maybe they'll just let her know that it wasn't as bad as the ones that were on TikTok and she can kind of make her way back to the internet. I doubt she will ever really want to come back for another reunion. And maybe it's for the best that they all have seemingly like moved on and found their proper places online. Clearly Zach and Jared are good and Tara's good as this new co-host. The fans are loving her all seems well and i'm sure they're all wanting to avoid any drama going forward so i don't know if we're ever going to be getting a reunion again but it does seem like they're all cordial they're all cordial but that is the drama that was going on this week surrounding the dropouts podcast with fans not really loving the early previews that they were seeing from this episode and basically running indiana offline but let me know if you guys tuned in what you guys think about all that went down i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys Thank <laughs> you.